Hey everybody, welcome aboard. Captain Mike here. Um, I'm not going to run a flight today. Uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up for those of you that have been following along with my flight deck. Um, the past few days I've had an opportunity to uh, install some additional gauges. Um, if you take a look from left to right, I have the uh, captain's chronometer is now installed. I have uh, the flaps gauge, the dual flaps gauge, uh, that's installed. The brake pressure gauge is now installed. That was a bit of a pain to put in, but uh, it's up and it's in and it's running. As well as the first officer's uh, chronometer. Each one of these gauges work just uh, as they're supposed to and they match the z mod. Um, how about we take a look at each one of these uh, individually a little bit closer. Now if we take a closer look at this clock, you can see we can have the uh, chronograph. Actually, I think it's already going. I just reset it. Date time. As you can see, it's August 18th, 2022. The clock works beautiful. The clock is from uh, Flight Illusions, and they also now make and sell the bezel that goes around this clock. I had a hard time trying to find that bezel. It was just about impossible. And uh, But we've been going back and forth with Flight Illusion uh, about making uh, plates and whatnot, and they were good enough to make these, uh, these bezels. And I believe they're also available for sale on their website now. So if you got a Flight Deck Solutions... Uh, main instrument panel here. MIP dual trainer. These with the clock are going to fit just nice. These button screws are picked up on Amazon and they just look absolutely beautiful. They really dress up the clock and make it look great. I'm not even going to paint those Boeing gray. They look so good. And that's basically it for the clock. How about we move on over to the uh, flaps gauge. and put your squawk on Thank you. Now if we take a closer look at the flaps gauge, you'll see that the flaps are indicating that the flaps are up, which matches my handle. I'll take the flaps and move them to 1. At 998, ground runway 14. Actually, the wind is 190 at 20, gusting 28. Uh, 14 or 23 for you? What, what, works, what works better for you? Probably runway 23. 23 wins. And we have flaps 1. We'll go to 2. Golf and Echo. There's 9,000... Uh, 100 feet from there, unless you want full length. And we have flaps two. Oh, golf back flaps five. Uh, so we'll pack the golf back over short. Come up over to tower holding short. Uh, nine on eight. Flaps ten. Fifteen. This is a dual flaps gauge, and they're both moving at the same time. I don't think I've ever seen them move independently. Flaps 25. And again, this is from uh, Flight Illusions' gauge. Flaps 30. And flaps 40. And we'll go back to flaps up. To the right of that, you can see the brake pressure gauge. And what I'll do is I will turn off the hydraulic pumps. And if we step on the tow brake, as you can see right now, we've got 31, 3200 uh, PSI in the brake pressure. If we step on the tow brakes, we'll watch that pressure drop. And then we'll set the parking brake and we'll watch it drop a little bit more. And then we'll come off the tow brakes. And you can see what we're left with. And if we turn the hydraulic pumps back on, it will again pressurize the system. And the last item that I put in was the first officer's clock. And that operates the same way as the uh, captain's chronometer. Up next, I plan on getting the standby gauges installed, as well as the yaw damper. They were already pre-mounted on another plate that I have and pre-wired. I just have to run that wire from the uh, last gauge over to the uh, controller board. 
the big issue is going to be this monitor. I have to take this monitor out. It runs all the way across and down Canada here. And the standby gauges are actually on the monitor. Four, four and we're going to replace that with some actual gauges. So I have to get this monitor out and put a smaller one in its place. As it turns out, this lower monitor that's offered by Flight Deck Solutions fits in this space. And it allows me the room that I need to get those standby gauges in. That's up next, but uh, my hands get a little shaky, and uh, being that I'm on oxygen, um, I really can't get down there and bend, so I'm going to need the help of my brother. So I'm basically at the mercy of when he's available, so I'm hoping that's not going to be uh, too long. Um, I was hoping to have all this done before X-Plane 12 gets released, but I think that's coming this weekend. I hope. We'll see. Um, anyway... This is where I'm at so far with the flight deck. We're almost done. We're in the home stretch. Uh, and everything is looking pretty good. And uh, kudos to uh, pick a tank gentleman that uh, worked on and adjusted these uh, Lewis scripts. You are the man, my friend. You are the man. Without you, none of this uh, would be possible. So I want to thank you. And again, everybody, I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next run.